guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with the 5850 part of the 5000 series roundup. Uh, same setup as with the uh, 5770. We're going to play shift at maximum resolutions and we're going to play some Crisis Warhead. Uh, but because uh, Crisis Warhead is so demanding, we have to knock the settings down a bit. So on Crisis Warhead, rather than max, we're going to turn the AA off all together and then run the texture settings on the gamer setting throughout just click uh, all gamer um, we're going to have fraps running in the top corner here so make sure you run it watch here and the uh, base specs that we're running it on is a rampage 2 extreme six gigabyte of ocz blade uh, running at 1800 megahertz uh, the, I've got a i7-965 which is running a 150 base clock which works out to be 3.6 gigahertz. Uh, spin point F1, 1 terabyte, uh, 1000 watt OCZ power supply uh, and uh, Zonar sound card. Uh, now I just want to show you this quickly. At the moment the graphics card is running on auto so the fans down at 21% but if we enable it so now this is 50% fan and I'll turn it up to 100 just so you can hear the tornado there's 100% and I'm going to run all the games uh, with the fan set at 50% so it's level throughout uh, but you're going to be getting um, these run very, very quiet, uh, very, very cool. So you're going to be with 50% fans, the 5850 at stock, uh, it's about 32 degrees. And then uh, max out, it will be about 65, 66 degrees. So I'm going to uh, move on now and get the shift set up. But remember, shift, we're going to play the same game for the same level throughout all of the cards. The shift is at maximum settings. Right, so here we go on shift. Don't forget, it's all at maximum settings. I'm going to try and stay within the pack or close to the cars to try and stress the game as much as I can. Quite a happy 70 frames a second up there. So there we go, we can see the 5850 even at maximum settings really doesn't have any problems playing shift whatsoever. I didn't see it go below 50 uh, frames a second there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off now and get set up for us to do uh, 
a session on Crisis Warhead, just so you can see at different ends of the scale what the 5850 is capable of. So just to remind everyone, the settings we've played this on is with the AA off and the uh, texture settings to Gamer because uh, if you set it all to maximum, which is what we normally do with games, it's a bit like a comic and you don't see above 20 frames a second. Now I'm not the best Crisis gamer in the world, but I will try my best for you. Staying up in the trees. Obviously there's a lot going on up in the trees because of all the lights and the shades and it's still staying at 50 degrees, uh, 50 frames a second. You can turn the AA up a couple of notches if you want, but I just want to keep the uh, games at the same throughout so you can see the difference. And obviously the frames a second hopefully will get higher with all the different games. But anyway, you can see there that the 5850 is quite capable of playing a crisis. Uh, the frames per second there didn't uh, go below 40 frames per second. I'll have to have a look at the logs later. But I'll post all the results up uh, at the end, but you can also see the full review at overclock3d.net. I will also post the, a link at the side as well. Um, but Although I'm not a massive Crisis fan, or at least I'll reword that, I've not played Crisis a massive amount until I started to do this review. Um, but I'm getting quite, it, although I have to keep playing the same uh, level over and over again, when I finish this, I think like because of how much I've enjoyed doing it on this, I think I'm going to start playing it in my spare time. Um, but been quite impressed with the 5850, considering it comes in it's their middle of the road. The frames per second that you're getting with it are, are amazing, really, for the money. So I've been very, very impressed. Please uh, leave any comments or anything below. Don't forget this is, the reviews, are, or at least the video reviews, are still a work in progress with me. So hopefully I will find a middle ground, but I would like to hear what you think. But for now, at least, don't forget you've still got the, all the other videos are available, 5770, 5850 which is this one, 5870 and we're going to do 5890 as well. And uh, if you're really, really nice and leave me lots of comments and good ratings, I may even do an iFinity um, video as well. But for now at least, this is Tony Tom Logan out. <laughs>